learners, good day! I am Teacher Grisel, your ALS teacher in LS2, Scientific and Critical Thinking Skills. Kamusta kayo mga learners? Sana ay nasa mabuti kayong kalagayan. Ngayong araw ay may bago tayong matututunan. Our lesson for today is all about Reproductive System. Our objectives for today's lessons are Number 1. The function of the reproductive system. Number 2. The major parts of both female and male reproductive system. Number 3. The function of each part, both the male and female reproductive organs. Bago magpatuloy sa araling ito, siguraduhin muna na nasagutan mo ang pretest sa video lesson na ito. Kindly arrange the jumbled words given to you. Afterwards, we'll check your answer. Nasa taas ang mga tamang sagot sa ginawang activity. Kamusta ang nakuha niyong marka? Mataas ba? Kung mataas, binabati kita. Kung ito'y mahaba, okay lang. Sapagkat madadagdagan pa ang iyong kalaman sa araling ito. Reproductive system. The system of organs and parts which involve producing offspring. The male reproductive system. It refers to the bodily system responsible for sexual function in male. Ano-ano ang mga organs na kasali sa male reproductive system? Most of the male reproductive system is located outside of the body. These external structures are the penis, scrotum, testes, and epididymis. Internal organs of the male reproductive system are called accessory organs. They include the vas deferens, prostate gland, seminal vesicle, urethra, and vulvorethral gland. The major parts of male reproductive system are number one, penis. The penis is made up of two parts the shop and the head. The urethral opening of the tip of the penis delivers sperm into the vagina during sexual intercourse. Number two, scrotum. The scrotum is the sac-like organ hanging behind and below the penis. It contains the testicles, also called testes, as well as many nerves and blood vessels. Testes. The testes, oval organs that lie in the scrotum, are the primarily male reproductive organ and are responsible for testosterone and the sperm production. Number four, epididymis. The epididymis is a C-shaped tube that rests on the box of each testicle. It transports and stores sperm that are produced in the testes. Number 5. Ductus deferens or vas deferens. It is a long muscular tube that travels from the epididymis into the pelvic cavity to just behind the bladder. Number 6. The ejaculatory ducts. These are formed by the fusion of vas deferens and the seminal vesicle. The ejaculatory ducts empty the urethra. 7. The urethra. The urethra is the tube that carries urine from the bladder to the outside of the body. Female reproductive system. It is made up of internal and external sex organs that function in the reproduction of the offspring. 
organisms na kabilang sa female reproductive system. At una natin tatalakayin ay ang uterus. The uterus is the largest and major organ of the female reproductive tract. The body of the uterus is connected to the ovaries via the fallopian tube and opens into the vagina via the cervix. The lining of the uterine cavity is called the endometrium. At ilan sa mga pinakaimportanteng ginagawa ng uterus ay ang mga sumusunod. Post the developing fetus, produces vaginal and uterine secretions, and passes the anatomically male sperm through the fallopian tubes. The major parts of female reproductive systems are number one, ovaries. The ovaries are two small oval shaped glands located on either side of the uterus. Number two, uterus. The uterus is a hollow pear shaped organ located in a woman's lower abdomen between the bladder and the rectum. Number three, fallopian tube. The fallopian tubes are narrow tunnels for fertilized egg to make its way down the uterus. Number four, cervix. The cervix is the lower narrow part of the uterus located between the bladder and the rectum. Number 5 Vagina The vagina is also known as the birth canal. Join the cervix, the lower parts of the uterus, to the outside of the body. Number 6 Vulva the vagina, also known as the birth canal, joins the cervix, the lower part of uterus, to the outside of the body. Remember, number one, reproduction is important because without it, people as well as every living organism will vanish from the earth. Number two, Fertilization is the process wherein an egg and a sperm cell unite. Number three, sperm cells are the male sex while the egg cells are the female sex cell. Number four, hormones help regulate the production and release of sex cells. Number five, the menstrual cycle involves the growth and release of sex cells. Number six, menopause is the period in a woman's life when menstruation stops and pregnancy is no longer possible. Let's try this. Matapos ang arilin na ito, huwag mong kalimutan sagutan ng post-it. For your assignment, make a slogan on how we can take care of our reproductive system. Mukhang nag-enjoy ka sa ginawa nating pag-aaral. Sana'y nakatulong ito na malagdagan ang iyong kaalaman. Laging tatandaan na hindi hadlang ang mga problema at pagsubok sa buhay upang ipagpatuloy ang iyong mga pangarap. Hanggang sa muli mga learners, tandaan kapag ALS may pag-asa. Walang kabataang may iwan. Pag ALS ka, proud ka. Bye-bye! Thank you for listening. Don't hesitate to ask any questions. I hope you enjoy watching this lesson. 
Bye!